What is the bottom of the hour? Let's get right to the top story that we're following today. Suffolk County is in a state of emergency after flash floods ripped through the area. Take a look at this video here. Official holding an update just a short time ago. Let's bring in Jody Goldberg. She's live in Smithtown with the situation there, which is not great as we just saw some of the evidence of that. Bianca, it's devastating. Officials insist they will rebuild. In fact, they've already been, uh, they've already spoken to contractors and people have been coming here to Blydenburg Park all morning and they're in disbelief because of this behind me. Take a look at it. The nearly 100 acre pond is almost fully drained and to locals it's known as stump pond, but the stumps aren't supposed to be visible. This is what it looked like just days before the storm and many residents say they spent days Decades boating, kayaking, picnicking, and taking peaceful walks around here. The lake that officials say was dammed back in 1798 was home to swans and sea life, and it's now dry after the dam and concrete bridge collapsed, and millions of gallons of water rushed into the Nisiquag River after the storm. Local officials are calling this latest weather event the Superstorm Sandy of the North Shore. And not far from here in Stony Brook, the dam also collapsed at Mill Pond, and so did part of Harbor Road. Homes in Sound Beach, Rocky Point, and Setauket also sustained damage. Officials are thanking the governor in advance, as they say they're hopeful she'll help get the millions of dollars in federal funding needed. Our infrastructure has failed. It is antiquated. We need the funds to repair so we can move, go, come back to what we had before. Of water that can be handled is out the window. We're facing a new challenge with climate change okay. and the one in a hundred year storms is coming more often and visiting us and it's not a hundred years. And officials encourage residents to use the self-damage assessment system on their website. So far, about a thousand residents, they said, have used that. We reached out to the governor's office, and the governor, for her part, said they are in touch with Suffolk County. Back to you. Yeah, hopefully, this dry weather helps out just a little bit, Jody. Thanks so much for the update.